Hey everyone, how's it going? After some gross technical problems, looks like we're back broadcasting on Twitch and re-uploading on YouTube, of course. And uh, look, had some weird audio issue where my audio was like hiccuping. I'm on a new computer, so still ironing out some of the configurations and settings. Nevertheless, let's get started here. Play some Civilization Revolution. I believe everything should be ironed out now. That's pretty annoying. I had to relaunch my broadcasting software. No logical reason it was having an issue. I don't know if it didn't like that I unplugged it and plugged it back in at one point. I don't know. Anyhow, let's use the Chinese and get back to business here. Now, the Golden Knight, I would really like to get a really, really nice time with the Chinese. You know, I'm not going to settle for 1500 AD. I'm not going to settle for 1250 even, which would be a great time. Appreciate it, Arch Ghost. Thanks for your patience, man. Uh, and thanks for letting me know. Uh, just weird. I don't know. I just had to relaunch my software, so I don't know why it was doing that. But technology, you got to gotta love it. Isn't it grand? Isn't it wonderful? Makes our life so great. So let's get a good time, man. So uh, you say you got a 900 AD victory. Was that just a random map or were we talking a scenario or a game of the week or something like that? The big difference, real big difference. If you have map knowledge, it changes everything. I was arguing with a guy today in my YouTube comments. He was like, oh, man, you can't say that's a world record on free for all deity because... You know, some guy with perfect map knowledge that played a map 25 times. You know, he he did it in 500 BC or whatever. You know, it's like, come on, man. That's like a totally different, totally different circumstance. Uh, Yeah, that's a really nice time, March Ghost. That's a real nice time. Hopefully I can get a time. If you can get that on video, I'll put you on the scoreboard, man. I'm just trying to get people i'm not saying i'm the best or anything like that i'm just trying to get people to you know create content and try to build a community around this game it deserves one it's such a good game uh let's see here this is this money money oh look what i found yeah game of the weeks they're cool but it's like you can't compare them to other normal games i mean come on game of the weeks are I, I, the reason i don't really do game of the week um, it just takes a ton of time and replaying and replaying and replaying. So that's cool, but I just don't have that kind of time, to be quite honest. Ooh, Confucius. Now, the cool thing I like about the Chinese that I think a lot of people don't really appreciate, they have the ability to use f three trees early in the game. I better get my... Oh, look what I found. Huh. It's kind of a doofy spot right here. What does this guy have for a tile? I don't know that I could actually get... Yeah, yeah I think the mic should be a little better now. My question is... I can't get the water from here, so that's kind of bumming me out. <laughs> Horse in seven turns, yeah. Let's go to... I know you're going to think I'm nuts. Let's go over here, though. I may not roll with this start, but we'll see. We'll see what happens here. I can't tell what resource India has, and that could be a game changer. Yes, let's have peace, guys. Oh, they got food over there. They got a... I don't think... Okay. All 
That's a really... F no, don't do that to me. I hate when it does that. Gotta. Guess it didn't matter anyway. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty fast walk-in right there. Let's swap over and get some horses rolling here. Or maybe I can get it right here. Let's see what happens. No, nope, spy. We done got us a spy, boys. Hmm. Let's go get this at least. Well, this position doesn't seem too bad. I did have to go for this landlocked position here. A little bit weird. But actually, this is a really nice production city. And uh, if I'm if things go well here, I could get a second capital. Yeah, I mean, it, that could become my military city. Even though it's really earlier than I want it to be. You do want access to water, but I didn't like the positions it was offering. Because I had no trees over here. Um... So hopefully we can get some horse armies going and get some nice tech. Some uh, Well, we're going to have to get some horse armies going, first of all, to get across this giant landmass. So we'll have horses in five turns, it looks like. Maybe less if this spy can get something good here. So we'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky. Hey, Maxi boy. What's going on, buddy? Good to see you back. Back in the fold. Wow. I'm actually going to leave that barb hut for the horses. Give me, come on, give me horses. Nope, more spies. Makes me a little nervous. I don't think domination today. I'm kind of, I would really like to get a nice... A nice non-domination time here with the Chinese. I don't like all having all these spies. I'm going to play it safe here. Yeah, it's going to give me like 80 spies. Ideally, I'd get horses, but okay. It's just not my day, I guess. Lots of huts. Am I going to get a, yet another one? As you see, I'm being really when you when you want it, you gotta be careful with these spies because they don't have to declare war in order to steal them, and that's 25 gold, and you don't want to lose that early in this game here. You know, if you have to research horses, so be it. They're gonna give me 900 spies. That's cool. Uh, let's find some named tiles with these guys. Where are the named tiles? It's not here, is it? I'm not going anywhere near that. Yeah, it is better. Than, three maps would be awful. You know what I was thinking? Um, I'm going to do a video on how I would reprogram the game. Like if I could pick and, re and swap around some of the settler perks. Like one that I thought of, I thought the Russians should start should start with a spy. I thought that would make a lot of sense, and that would make them a little more interesting at the start. Get rid of that silly map that you give them, and give them a spy at the beginning. Then that'd be a lot more interesting. What up, genocide? How you doing? I need to get this. Do something with that. No, oh, they're coming. Oh, 
Hey man, we're gonna go for a bronze working. Come on, it's not gonna help me. What are you guys doing to me? Bronze working. My goodness, it's very painful. All these spies, I could get a hundred gold. Yeah. We do have an SOC in the game, ladies and gentlemen. I never get builders from those things, though. I never get builders from those. It's usually artists, maybe a scientist if I'm lucky. Man, these guys are going bananas. Oh, did they get Oracle? <laughs> Two artist SOC. Oh, yeah. Alright. Might have to play this risky. Just to get away from this stupid barbarian here. A little bit, little bit risky. Makes me nervous. Oh, thank you. I know there's a name tile around here somewhere. Nope, somewhere. All right. How much money do you guys have? A little bit? They got a little bit of money. Yeah, man, I want to get sub-8, 1,000 AD. That's the goal for me. That's a really nice time. And I don't know if this start is going to facilitate that or not. I don't know. You kind of need a really... You need a very tight start to achieve that. Or just a lot of things to go your way. You need a random number generator really needs to help you out. Which means not getting two artists, not getting three spies, you know, stuff like that. Um, <laughs> two builders. It could happen. I hate to sell these. I think it's the right thing to do. This one, anyway. Should I sell this guy? Maybe. Would be a terrible idea to place him on a boat, though. Let's keep him around for now. Nice. Yeah, that's a tough one, Arch Ghost. Can be done for sure. I have to delay. You know, I should have sold. I think I'm going to sell some spies. I want to hit my 100 gold, and I don't want to. What would I have to sell? Yeah, and Americans. Americans are absolutely nuts. I'm kind of saving them for last. Because we all know that they're going to have every record.
Uh, let's go to the spy over here. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? Give me more money. Got to do it. All right, that's. All right, this is good. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's get that galley rolling. Hey, Uncle Kev. Good to see you back. Good to see you guys. What? Oh man, I'm glad I put that warrior over there. Wow. That's a little scary. I thought that was my horse. I was a little terrified. Oh, they're on a hill. Uncle Kev, you missed it. I did a 1050 AD. Aztec technical victory. Damn, thought for sure that would be a name tile. Let's get the galley out. See this little trick right here so I can position the galley. Ugh! Hope that worked. Yeah, there we go. I could put this guy on an island. Sometimes that's nice, so you don't have to worry about defending it. Alrighty, let's get his sorry butt in there. I can't believe there are no name tiles down here. How did that happen? <laughs> I'm predicting great explorer, great artist. That's my prediction. Got a caravan, we can do something useful with that. Oh, that is my first host. Thanks for hosting me, Uncle Kev. <laughs> Peppy, thanks you. That was a pretty epic sound effect. Here we go. Here we go. All right, we got one scientist. We can do something with that. I knew it. Uh, 
wheat, I don't think that wheat is really worth it. I won't be working any wheat. know what I'm using this for. Probably Code of Laws. Uh, the goal is just to uh, get the fastest. I, I would like to get sub 1000 tech victory on this one. All right, so we got six. Let's start pumping out these armies here. Plenty of goodies around here. Oh, beautiful. Um, question is, which side should I take this boat around? Feeling like the answer is north. This guy is going to be wandering around a bit. That's all right. Let's see if I can find some goodies up here. Let's fix this uh, city science issue over here. I don't want too much overflow right now. I just need four. All right. They still don't have, they still don't have Browns working, but I got to get there fast. They need to be dominated. It'd be nice to get Egypt out of the picture really fast. We got here. Nothing here. Yeah, Egypt, when the AI plays Egypt, they're surprisingly, a, yeah, it can be a real pain. I 
if I should just hang on to this. I kind of feel like. I don't think I'll be flipping any cities anytime soon. So, yeah. If I'm going tech, I mean, if I'm going to end up going democracy, I ain't flipping anything. Let's keep our eye on Egypt here and see what goes goes down in these next few turns. Alright, got Code of Laws in 2400 BC, there's nothing wrong with that. How many texts do I have? Five? I'm about to get literacy too, so that's good. Alright, still looks good. Let's keep our eye on him. Go horses. We ain't screwing around. Do I want a barracks this early? Something better I could get? Colossus is no good. Barracks is pretty handy though, sometimes. Pretty positive this is a money tile. Some solid tech per turn here. What the heck am I building the barracks for? Let's get some uh, settlers out. I'm wondering if I should keep this population level a little higher. I don't think it's a big deal at this time. What kind of production city could I get? May not matter if I go for tech. Let's just push hard expansion. We'll get this next turn. I think we're good. Knowledge of literacy. Now's a good time to save your game. Stop yanking. Damn thing.
Let's get this guy on the boat. Do some island expansion. In com I can do that in parallel with uh, land-based expansion. Hopefully that can serve me well. That would be a good thing. There we go. That'll help our expansion efforts. Looks like they're building something. I don't know what. They're not going for tech, so they can't get bronze working. So if they're building warriors, I'm okay with that. I'm just going to leave them be. Ooh, this is a big desert spot right here. Imagine if Egypt was right here. This could be a nice little spot. Could be. Right here with these, uh, got this river right here. That would actually boost their food right there. If they're on that hill. That could be kind of nice. Uh, let's see. I can't go that way, so I'm going to have to take this. Let's take it this way. A big giant fat peninsula here. Kind of feel like I should take this guy to the south to help to expand to the south down here. Might cost me a little time though. But I gotta get down there. I don't like these big giant land masses like this. It takes too many turns to get to the coastline. Yucky. Pretty yucky. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. What are you gonna do with this? What are you gonna do with this great artist? I have no idea. Looks pretty worthless to me. How much gold do I have? Not enough. That's how much. What do you guys think? Am I gonna take Thebes or what? Is it mine? In 2200 BC. Sweet culture flip. Yeah, right. <laughs> what a jerk. I should have just declared war. I was not anticipating that. That damn culture pushback. Computer always finds a way to screw you over, I'm telling you.
All right, let's see what we got. This and that's pretty gross. Not much I can do about that, though. It's going to be a pretty nice hill city, though. Oh, yeah, I lost a 60 to 30 with tanks also. I lost to some riflemen. I don't like this, but it's going right here. Oh, actually... I am getting the literacy bonus. That's interesting. What are you talking about roles in my favor? Genocide. What roles in this game? Alright, hopefully Egypt doesn't do... Oh, okay. We totally got this. Nope. Yes. Blitz. Nope. Don't take my horse. Oh, he injured my horse. How could you? Ouch! Alright, he's good. We're good. Yes! 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 This is awesome. This is a very good thing. Alright. We just secured a hell of a lot of territory. Is it really? Is it really? Come on. Come on, Genocide. Do you really think it's luck? Let's be serious. Come on, man. Luck? I'm a little bit insulted. Just a little bit. Oh, I'm the Massachusetts state champion of NBA Jam. I mean, how can you even doubt? How can you doubt? I went 8-0. and 8-0 oh, and zero in NBA Jam. In 1994. I mean... Come on. Let's keep expanding here. It would be a little faster to expand from up here, though. So let's do this. Wonderful. This guy cannot do anything because it's a sh terrible city. Oh, this is nice. Got to start expanding from Thebes. 
Hey, since I have Oracle now, does that mean that I have guaranteed attack? I think it does. Hey, Smokums, what's going on, man? Uh, flight was delayed, huh? Don't sweat it. I just actually started a little late. I had some audio issues, so. Yeah, we're a little bit delayed here, too. Still ironing out some of these weird technical problems. Yeah. Yeah, I got an Oracle. Doesn't that, I mean, I'm, I'm not even 100% sure, to be honest. Does, I think that means I get that until it gets obsol obsoleted, if that's a word. I think we're good to go, man. Just trying to be, I know I'm kind of dithering a lot with these turns, but I'm just really being careful. I want to do this the right way. Uh, Let's see here. Let's see if I can cheat. Where are these people? Let's do some uh, good old-fashioned settler hacks. Oh. You see that? Someone's right here. I think that was Japan over there. Ah, oh, still? This is a nice little spot right here. Take advantage of this fish. Cranking out some gold here. Man. I'm going to have to keep that boat there for now. Need more gold. Need more gold. Just don't have enough yet. When you're trying to expand as fast as possible, you really want to plant in spots where you can take advantage of as many trees as possible because that's always more effective than using gold. So, let's try to do some smart city positioning here. Oop, 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 oop. What are you doing? This guy's just going to heal up, I guess. Yeah. Little fog peaking going on. Yes, sir. Uh, fog peaking works best if you use a settler for some reason. I don't know why that is, but when you use a settler, you can kind of rip around this map, and sometimes you can catch a glimpse of where enemy opponents are. Hey, Coyote Face. Welcome aboard. <laughs> All right. Does that make sense, genocide? The way I explained it. No, I think it'll only be one game. Eat, ed or spam. Uh, let's take this settler and run over here.
as you can see this is a pretty good spot right here because I got three trees so this is a really nice spot to oh man this guy's not serious this guy is not a veteran that warrior right there uh, where can I expand from anywhere Bueller I don't think I can do it anywhere a little tip to speed of your speed your games up when you got something set to no build item selected just put it on like a library or something like that a lot of times that it can save you time down the road This is going to be interesting. If I can take out a third city, that would be really <laughs> pretty slick. Yeah, the Japanese are over here. And the Mongols. I think we should take out the Japanese if we can. They typically have nicer cities. Now, the funny thing about this... I could actually lose this fight, so I have to be careful. Because uh, this is after 2100 BC. Yeah, actually, I've seen, it's funny, the barbarians, they can take, oh, look at this, look at this. <laughs> Unbelievable. Nice. The only problem with this right here, I like, I love oak, but look at the shape of this island. Not good. I think it's a five tile island if I'm looking at that right. Let's see. Uh, what's going on here? Yeah, I'll never use that. Yeah, I don't think... Oh, oh, nice. It's a six tile. Oh, oh, okay. That'll work. I'm going to fail to plant the here, so that's too bad. So yeah, I can put one there and one there. That'll be that'll be decent. All right, that guy's gonna have to wait. <sighs> Slowing down my efficiency here. What's going on over here? Anyone here? This guy can expand. There we go. Some nice tiles over here, man. Look at these. Beautiful. Beautiful. Very nice. I'd like to get that in the corner. That would be a little bit better. Take it up this way, I suppose. 
Not many trees up here, though. That's the only problem. Trees are definitely a point of concern here. Let's just take them up here. Alright, we've spent as much as we can here. Damn, they got five technologies. Nice starting city, buddy. Wait, where's Japan? I think they're like right over here. Yep, here they are. Legions scare me only because I don't think they have any armies though. It's just I worry about them countering and then I have to deal with uh, I don't want to lose a horse army. Let's do some diplomacy here. They're ignorant. What does that mean? Let's see how close can these guys get. I feel like the Mongols are actually a safer attack. Yeah, they're definitely safer. Thing is, I have the Oracle. Uh, let's, I think, let's go for it. Normally, I think I would go for after the Mongols in this situation. This is a really nice expansion city. Oxen are so awesome for expansion, for like a, an expansion hub. Hey Juggernaut, yeah, we got a pretty good game going here. Chinese, so shouldn't expect anything less, I suppose. Let's check out the cities real quick. Could expand there. Let's see, is there a better spot to expand from them? Like this is a nice spot, but that's going to be full cost. This would probably be better. Keep it going, though. Go take advantage of that fish. Uh, 
Kyoto's got five. Let's sell them some technology so they don't get any good ideas. Get any ideas here? A little risky. That's all right. Get some gold from these guys. Maybe expand. Let's see. Can I expand again? I just got some gold out of it. No? Kind of surprised. Thought that would pull it pretty close. No one, huh? Maybe this one? Yeah. All right, so we squeezed out a little extra juice there. Wish me luck. Ha <laughs> Wow, got ceremonial burial too. Damn, this is nuts. <laughs> okay. You know, I'm wondering if I should just go for the domination victory, because that's a really nice time. And everything in this game is... I got the Oracle. Wouldn't be a record, but it would be a very good time. would be the best with uh, non-Zulu. <laughs> uh. Very well could just sit on them the whole game And there's nothing they could do about it Yeah, one plus one population. Seriously. What were they thinking? Why is that even in the game?
I think I'm going to go, um, since it won't be, here's my thinking. So I have a 2100 BC Zulu victory, and that's the record for non-dom. And since it wouldn't be a record, I'm going to push for the nicest non-domination victory here. I don't know if it's going to be tech, cultural, or um, economic. Maybe, maybe economic, we'll see. But I think it depends on what great people I get here. Depends on the great people. So we'll see what the random number generator does for us. Uh, let's see. I'm only getting 19 currency a turn. No, no, no. 57 gold per turn. Thank you. What? I have 19 cities? Wow. Are you serious? Oh, uh, 15. Who's working science? Oh, this guy. This joker over here. Get your head in the game there, buddy. We're working gold in, this, in these parts. Yeah, because I could easily just destroy this guy. There's nothing he can do. Yeah, the best thing I could probably do is just uh, harass this guy. And maybe even steal some. Sell him a code of laws. This guy has no money. I can't even sell him code of laws. Sometimes you sell them code of laws, they end up start expanding, feeding you settlers. But uh, it looks like that ain't happening this this go around. Just kill every unit that runs out of their city. <laughs> kind of got to bait them. If you let them know you're there, they kind of get a little jittery, a little bit scared. These horses, are, there's no reason for these horses to even exist. So I'm just going to sell, well, you know what? You know what I can do with these horses? Could actually help the settlers run around a little faster. Uh, this guy cannot go over here. So that would be a constructive thing to do. Gotta take these out too, of course. Nope. Oh, not bad. I could use that. Not bad at all. Some interesting little islands here. Might as well go for it. Yeah, Arch Ghost. I've always wondered. I feel like island starts were more frequent in the past. I don't know if they patched the frequency or something. But I've noticed fewer and fewer island starts. I don't know if that's just a coincidence. I don't know. Getting a little expense, expensive to feed this island expansion habit of mine. Oh yeah, Uncle Kev. These guys, Chinese are a beast, man. These guys are not screwing around at all. Holy cow. Gonna hit... Okay, I'm gonna get a currency city next turn, so... Can I do any more expanding? I don't think so. 
No, I don't think I, we don't have enough gold. All right, that's too bad. No, just in general, I, I almost never have island starts these days. I mean, look at all these games that I've played. I almost all these games I've live streamed and everything else. I mean, I just never, ever have island starts. Just I don't know what the percentage is on that. I don't know. All right, Mongols are on the board. They got one technology, pretty good, solid. All right, where are you putting this city? Shenyang. All right. That's kind of funny. I had a friend in college named Sheng Yang. Chinese guy. He's got his own market. His own city. Very nice. All right, we got literacy. Now, I'm just doing one game tonight, Uncle Kev. I'm actually super tired. I was up way too late. Way too late last night. Absolutely stupid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I already took out the other three sieves. Pretty good. Pretty good. Let's get monarchy. I think that's the way to go here. How many turns is that going to take? I wouldn't. I wonder if I got. I hope Genghis Khan researches pottery. I don't want to research that. I want to backfill it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice whales. Very nice whales. Look at that. Got a double whale scenario going on up here. Definitely going for that. Can't quite get there this turn, but that's all right. Let's heal this guy up. Oh, it's right here? No, it's not right here. <laughs> huh. Uh. Oh, that was stupid. Got to be a little more careful about how I'm moving these horses around. Get his sorry butt back there. You gots to be tactical when you're in expanding like this. Let's put this guy here. Oop. No. Let's see, what is the expansion scenario? Oh, I can run this dude into a boat. Nice. Very nice. A little drive-by, drive-by expansion. I'm glad that happened. Uh, let's see. Where's this gold city that I have? Here we go. Oh, look at that. 16. Very nice.
Oh, it even has dye. Oh, I definitely need to get that. That'll help. That will accelerate our s expansion phase here. Uh, okay. Where can I go? This guy can go. Over here. Could be handy just to keep this caravan around to, just to help with city expansion. And then later on, maybe give them to the Mongols after I don't need the money as much. Or, hmm. Well, like I'm doing pretty well on money. I have 85 gold, so that's pretty solid at this point. I have no gold left, so I'm going to have to end the turn. Whew. Yep, you stay there. You stay there. Thirty gold, holy look at that. Thirty? Why thirty? It's really bad. It's like the worst reward I've ever seen. Send this guy up here. Some future whale exploitation going on there. <laughs> A second Beijing. Excellent. Never have enough Beijings. Zero G caravans. Amazing. Hate to do a full blown. I hate to spend that much on a settler, but generally better to expand from cities that actually have some production. Need to keep the island expansion going, though. Anyone here have a decent amount of ex... Let's see what we got. Nope. Nope. You? Here you go. goal today is to win as early as possible and we got a pretty good pretty good pretty good tempo here we're cruising 100 gold per turn 21 per science per turn 
We're in our expansion phase right now. And we're doing pretty well. Eight techs, four out of five domination. One economic, two culture. So let's keep this going. Who's this? Okay. Depends on what kind of great people we get here at Tico Tastic. A lot of times it's a really bad idea to say, I'm going to get this kind of victory. Because what ends up happening is the game will feed you all kinds of garbage that you don't need at that point. So you got to really play it by ear a lot of the time. Woo! Look at that. Oh, ho, 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 man. That city. Holy cow. That city is unbelievable. Any victory type except for uh, no domination victory. We decided to get it. We could have took them. We could have taken them out pretty early there, but we decided against it. Just gonna play it cool. Play it cool. Yeah, Ark of the Covenant. I don't know. That could set me up for a culture victory. Maybe. See how things go. Um, what's going on here? What the heck is that city doing? Down to 19 gold. Need more. More gold. Anyone? Can anyone build something? I don't think so. Alright. I think that's a turn, folks. I think that's a turn. <laughs> this city is amazing. Very nice. Very nice city. What?
Looking good. Looking real good. Can't complain about this start, that's for sure. I'm not expanding out of that city. Alright, still got some gold left to expand with. Let's bring him west, I suppose. This guy's looking good. Bring him over. <laughs> Culture of victories. Um, I guess it's just. Yeah, I just. I guess. I don't know. I guess I just don't favor them. I don't know why. 30 gold. Wow. Anyone else? How about you? Looking, f this one's pretty good. Getting to the point where I'm going to get banking for free here, so I'm getting a lot of gold per turn. So that's a very good thing. And let's make peace with the Mongols, there's no sense in taking a risk here. Really if they just sit there and do nothing for a very long time I'd be okay with that. Hey Ben Klau, welcome aboard, glad you could join us tonight. We're up to 26 people watching man, we're getting close to the record. I guess they're just, the people are clamoring. They want to see what a technology or, they want to see a non-domination victory before 1000 AD. That's what the people want. Let's see how much gold we have. Uh, it's not too much. Can I expand anywhere? 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 Here's one. Love this city. My record for uh, a non-domination victory is 1050 AD. If we don't break it in this game, I would be very shocked because, I mean, it hasn't been perfect, but it's been going very well. I don't think I'm going to have to worry about getting it before 1050. I think it should happen. I would have to royally screw this up for it to not happen.
Yeah. Yeah, eleven seventy five is still pretty darn good though. So that's nothing to sneeze at. Especially on random maps, because you never know what you're getting with a random map. As you can see, this was a terrible idea, trying to expand over this direction. I should have just walked them a few more turns. And uh, maybe even just deal with the landlocked city for a while. Because it's not, you know, it's kind of stunted over here. That was a bad idea. I should have probably took them, like, right here, perhaps. Just at least it would have some trees and be able to expand at some point. So, that was a bad idea. Bad idea, man. Barely know what I'm doing here. Let's do a city check. 29 cities. <sighs> wow, 29 cities in 1100 BC. That's really crazy. That's pretty good. Whoa. And the Mongols have... Uh, look at this. They can't... It, this is interesting. So right here I'm using his tile. So he can't even use all his trade tiles. Ha! <laughs> That's super funny. I have to keep these horse armies kind of in the neighborhood because I know they're going to flip out if you start taking over all their tiles. They don't like that. So. Uh, let's see what happens here. I have to prioritize. Where do you install it? Check it. I found you here. Oh, cool, Maxi boy. Is that, I'm always curious how people discover me. Sometimes I have no idea how people find my channel. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna have to prioritize a rush of a settler right here. Just gonna have to do it. A little expensive. That's all right. Yeah, that's true. There, there, there's a a lot of good Civ Rev players out there, but there's really definitely not a lot of good content out there in terms of like video quality or people actually trying to show people how things are done. I'm, I'm planning some uh, videos that are specifically about, you know, tips and tricks and just focusing on different topics as well, not just gameplay videos. So we'll see how that goes too. As you, can see, oops, as you can see, I'm kind of camping these units around. Just kind of... Positioning them so that I can expand a little faster. I might even be able to steal their tree right here. <laughs> Yeah, Duke Blue, nineteen eighty-seven. He's got some good multiplayer videos on there. He's a good player. Uh, let's see. Actually, I'm gonna need a boat over here. Looks like I'm getting Monarchy next turn, so that's cool. Get some die. I need boats and I need settlers. Yeah, if you search civilization revolution, it's like nothing but my videos. It's pretty funny. I suppose because there's not a lot of recent videos. And uh, ever since it got re released on Xbox, I've been really focusing on cranking out really good content. And uh, people seem to want it, so that's cool. That I can fill a niche somewhere. 
lots of gold, lots of gold. It's the worst city ever. Thirty-eight gold, thirty-eight gold. What do we got here? What about you? No. Nope. You? No. Nope. Uh, I don't see anyone that can expand. Nope. That's it. Yeah, it got re-released. It came out on Xbox One. So, I saw a huge surge in traffic around the beginning of April. Just kind of looking at my really old video content. And I was like, well, maybe it's time to seize that opportunity there. This guy still has not researched pottery. It's pretty frustrating. Oh. Come on. How do they expect to compete if they're not researching pottery? Question is when do I get democracy? I think the answer is now. Chinese expand like champions anyway. Due to the plus one population. <laughs> no pottery challenge. That's a good one. All right. Not quite. Not quite time for the Ark of the Covenant. You quite yet. It's getting there though. Very key that I set these to library. Last thing you want to do is have to sev set the orders for like 50 cities when I get engineering. I'm trying to get better about avoiding those mass order scenarios where you have to order like a million cities to do something. So if you set them to library, it should kind of take care of that. Oh, about Tibetan. Good question, man. I don't know if it's going to be, it could be economic, could be all three at this point. It's not really clear. Let's get democracy first and then uh, take it one step at a time. Maybe we'll let the audience decide. Wow, that's a nice little island right there. I can fit three settlers on there. Going for the million city challenge. Look at that. Took his tree. The tree is mine. What's going on here? Who's using this tree? You?
Trying to get this guy some, uh, something cool. There we go. Oh no. Coming up on banking. All right, getting a boat next turn. Nice, there's a fish down here. Alright, maybe able to fill out the rest of that there. So that'll be good. <laughs> um, any money? Do I have any money? I don't think so. Damn. Kind of want a boat on this turn. Who can I sell? Fine. I'll sell the caravan. Being a great person, so we'll see how that goes. Might be an economic victory if I'm given given this guy. Maybe. See, that could be a good choice. Can't put any cities there. Plenty of gold, plenty of gold. <laughs> Keep taking his tiles away. Starting to feel bad for him, honestly. He didn't ask for this. He doesn't deserve this. What's going on over here?
Taking over his city, man. Got his tiles. Two of his tiles. Let's go ahead and get democracy next turn. Let's do that. And we should get banking. That should do it. 71 per turn. Math looks good. And we got some dudes over here. What's going on up here? Is everything straight now? I think so. Need a galley to get this guy over. Kind of a waste, but I'll do it next turn. In theory, it'll make up for it because I got him to this gold city over here. Let's see, I got 180 plus 63. Ouch. It's not quite enough to get banking. I think I can sell this horse though. 180 plus 83? Yeah, that'll get me there. That'll get me banking. That'll be a good thing. Right? That looks right. Good math? 263. Awesome. Go ahead and rush this guy too. And I'm going to sell the horse, so it should still be good. Hey, Cholo Jesus. that right? 79 plus 180? Alright, looks good. Uh, mainland looking very good. Looking very good. Need to expand from there. And a few more cities up here. So the east side looking kind of weak. Got a ton of land over there. Once we get democracy, it should Good, interesting. Need to pick up navigation. Take advantage of all these whales. Oh, oh! We backfilled pottery, boys. We're in business. Oh, we're in business. <laughs> hey, irrigation. Let's get irrigation. Plus one to every city. Huge. Massive. That should be one turn, so... The banking? Nice. You know... Can I get industrialization? No, not yet. Not yet.
Let's move this army to the front. Hey, run loose 64. No, you're not too late. You can watch the Mongols suffer. Woo! Look at that city. Oh no, I messed up. I'm going to have to go back and get my little buddy. Gonna have to fix the positioning of this boat being built here. There we go. Alright, now I can dump them right here. What? It's a pikeman over here? Okay. Whatever. Oh, man. Wow, it's so much. So much tech. Oh, that's interesting. This is right behind the... Mongols. Not sure they'll do anything about that. We'll see. They might try something stupid. How many... Need another one. One more city right over there. Okay. I can't even use his tiles. So, <laughs> got so many. Uh, he's got so many cities around him, he can't even do anything. That's alright though, doesn't matter. It will not matter at all. Alright, there goes all my gold. This could help a little bit. Do a little city check here. 41 cities. Holy cow. Whew. I think we're going for it. I think it's time. One more turn. One more turn. I kind of want temples next to his capital. Uh, we're going to go for the fastest video uh, non-domination victory. Not sure what kind yet. We'll see. I think we need to just get this now.
So we're going to go from 10 culture to what? What are we going to? Ooh, 50 gold. Half cost libraries. Oh boy. Oh boy. Holy cow. Can I hit nav in one turn? That would be nice. I need to do that. Another really nice island city right here. Just in case they try to get sneaky with their stinking, uh, you have a uh, plus three. They have three movement with their horses, so I don't know. They could just run into my city. I think this boat might be. His destiny may have been fulfilled. Is he might he might retire in. I don't have any vision for this guy. Around forty three. Somewhere around there. do anything worthwhile with this boat? Nope. I think he's going bye-bye. Keep this guy, though. <laughs> yeah, 44 cities right now. Nice, nice city. Twenty production, huh? That is so broken.
Should rush a bank is what I should do. Uh, I think I've had 50 some cities in a game. Good production cities. Yeah, I mean, this could be a pretty nice production city right here. I think that's what I should do with that over there. Done got us whales. What's next? Industrialization. That would definitely be huge. None of these others would have that kind of impact. <laughs> all right let's see why did i get a boat here of all places that's interesting Gonna run those guys south. Try to do something good with them. Uh, I think what I need to do is run this guy over and start planning my production city. Could I build a world bank or the UN? Let's see, let's start right here. Gonna have to run through. Bear with me here.
city is crazy. Can't do anything here. <laughs> kind of a ways, to be honest. Oh, wow, 30. That's a new record. 30 people watching right now. That's a record for me, personal record. So we're setting all kinds of records tonight. Not bad considering my broadcast initially had messed up audio. I thought for sure. That's it. I lost them. They're all leaving. They're going to bed. Nope, guess not. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Thanks, I link BSB. Appreciate that, man. Take all the compliments I can get. So is this your favorite part of the game too? I know it's mine. This is going to put our science at here. Kind of curious. Not a bad gold. So it may, eh. SWJS23706. Welcome aboard. Um. Swapping over to the science. Little micromanagement going on here. Little micromanagement. It's always worth going through and doing this, even though it's a big pain in the butt. Wow, five... Look at that. I like it. Five food. It's pretty good. Perfect shot. 141. Uh, it's just a quantity versus quality strategy. You really want a quantity of cities. Yeah, I mean, some of these city placements are pretty terrible. Um, but it kind of doesn't matter just because the plus city bonuses, the plus uh, gold and science per city bonuses end up being so awesome that it's totally worth it. So it doesn't even matter. All right, we can get industrialization in two turns. That's not too bad, guys. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think we're doing okay. I think we're gonna be all right. Yes, indeed. Oh, thanks for joining. I link underscore SB. 
Uh, I think we're getting a great person here, too. Look at all this. Uh, the Ark of the Covenant is kicking in for us. We're getting a lot of culture. 163. Holy cow. That's another example of how the uh, multiple city strategy really pays off. I mean, I got so much culture right now. Yeah, to be honest, you kind of want to avoid overlapping to that extreme because it can end up being kind of counterproductive. So placement does matter to some extent, even when you're going for quantity. Oh, I feel so dirty not finishing this in one turn. Yuck. So gross. But it's really the best thing to do right now. Oh, well. Oh, I believe that's science. Yes. All right, going to hang on to that guy. Will not be selling him. Man, this coastline is terrible. Uh, best civilization to do a one city challenge? Uh, if you can get... A good way to practice it, I would do it with the Egyptians on Oasis World, if you have that map. It's a scenario. And try to get the Colossus and a bunch of desert tiles. But generally, I would just say... I mean, the Chinese are pretty good, just because they... I mean, the Chinese got a lot of good stuff going for them. But uh, it's really, the Greek can do it pretty well. So, yeah, the Greek pretty pretty good because they start with democracy. So they don't have to worry about teching up to that. So if you can get like fish and some whales, tech up to navigation, can grow pretty well. Uh, let's go right here. City of Mailfin has arrived. Some nice little cities on these islands, though. Makes up for those booty cities I got on the mainland. gold kind of want to get construction so I can get on a free workshop right there if I can get the Oxford bomber thing <laughs> if I can get the Oxford bomber thing to pull off a lot of the time that's really nice to have uh, if I get that, I'd like to go for a tech victory. That's kind of one of the things that I like to do. <laughs> How much? 544? Alright. I think that's enough expanding for now. How many dudes we got on here? Just one? 
I think we have, might have more artifacts out there. I know that Atlantis is out there for sure. All right, we can build a factory. Let me get construction, boys. One turn. Give me it. Let me hold off on this guy. Hold off on that dude for just a little bit. Uh, I think I started playing this in 2009. Yeah. Let's see if I can get over there. Atlanta should be in every game, I believe so. The only way to get advanced flight from Oxford, all you need is industrialization has to be your highest technology. It, it depends on that. Do I have anywhere else I can? I don't think this guy can even go anywhere. I think he's kind of done. I think you're done, boat. Not done yet. You know, I may skip. I think I'm going to skip construction and just go directly for invention here. I think Atlantis is going to pick it up for me. see here Anyone else? Strategic libraries. Oh. Is there any die? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, he probably is a little bit jealous at this point.
All right, got a great person. Let's get university. All right. Worthless library right there. I mm, think this guy is done. Unless... Might have to use him, actually. Actually, what I could do is defend that little city up there, just in case the Mongols decide to come harass me. Here we go. Perfect. So we got masonry. And a workshop. Please give it to me in Melfin. Thank you. Workshop built in Melfin. That's good. And we got a catapult. <laughs> yeah, it's just me and the Mongols, man. That's it. So that was kind of perfect. Now we got this going on. Nice. Man, that's a lot. That's very expensive, but... Could go get communism, but... Communism would reduce the cost of that, but... It's kind of a ways up the tech tree. Forget about that guy. I will not be needing that. <laughs> awesome. One viewer. Holy cow. Thank you, Smokums. I should rush this bank. I should have done this a long time ago, to be honest. <laughs> nice. Uh, man. Got to have to hold off on that, I suppose. I hate to do that. But... I think it's the right move right now. Let's just bite the bullet. Go for it. It's going to be a lot of science, so that'll help. Engineering would be really smart right now, too. Let's go ahead and get that. Got some granaries. All right. Keep getting these gold guys. Oh, gross. Look at this. Eighty gold shoes. Oh, uh, eighty gold just for a stupid road. I think it's worth it though. So I keep getting these gold guys. Here we go again. <laughs> yeah, it could be spies. Let's not be greedy.
Have I not explored? Is there anything left? I'm thinking down here. Must be something. Possibly something down here. Oh, man. That's a lot of engineering. Can I rush this? Yes, I can. In Iron Mine too. I hate to spend that much, but gotta do it. We need it. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of spies early in this game. That was pretty gross. I didn't like that. Another scientist, wow. Got two great scientists sitting around now, but I don't really have any money, any big time technologies to research right now. You know, there's that oil right there, I would, but I need combustion to get it. crazy thing about this is I don't even have East India Company. Getting so much gold. You know, I think I should just go... I think I should go economic. I don't think it's worth going for the Oxford or any of this stuff. If I get corporation, well, I can get corporation in one turn. Tech it? <laughs> Why tech? I, I want to, um, I kind of need a, I, I would like a builder, not all these. I mean, I could get, if I got a builder, I would have went tech, but I keep getting scientists. Because I would want to build the, uh, well, I could just build, I have a nice production city here, honestly. Atomic theory. Mongols have been kind of quiet. I don't know. I haven't heard very much from them. What are we at now? Year zero? Could nuke them. Could nuke the Mongols. Let me really take a look at this tech tree and see what I really, what is remaining that I really want. I don't think I really want much else at that point. If I go economic, I don't really need any of that. Really, all I would need is railroad. I mean, yeah, those great scientists, I could do... Uh, Electronics, something like electronics and space flight. I could get. You want me to go tech? I can go tech. Because I do have two scientists, so. 
I could really knock out a heck of a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of the tech tree with those two scientists. killer defense over there. All right, getting steam power. I need an iron mine and a courthouse. Courthouse? What would I gain from a courthouse? One tree. Well, I got one, two, three, four, five. So right now I don't really gain anything. Don't gain anything if I build that. Definitely benefit from an iron mine though. Harbor. Wish I could get combustion, but that's a lot of, that costs too damn much. If I rush this, I could just get it next turn. I think that may be worth it. That's totally worth it. Let me double check because this is a big decision. Very big decision. Industrialization's highest, so it should be good to go. That'll give me advanced flight. So, yeah, that's going to work. Where'd my city go? Here you are. There we go. Whoa! I got him. The tech, the, the Japanese are still beating the Mongols in technology. I sold them all those techs. City's not affected by anarchy. Okay. No, I already got Atlantis. Alright, got coal, a cruiser. And then we should be taking... Uh, I need corporation. I can get corporation now. Advanced flight. Beautiful. Go ahead and rush that. Got the great person there, so might as well leverage that as much as I can. Courthouse. Get the iron mine in two turns. Oh, baby. Got me a bomber. Computer's not attacking because they're absolutely crapping their pants right now. With his one city and I've got... <laughs> I don't even know how many cities I have.
They're not attacking because they're terrified. Is there any other tech I can take advantage? Uh, nah, let's keep going. Getting a ton of gold. Railroad. It should be in the 50s. 52. 52 cities. Okay. Electronics. Need electronics. Oh, baby, we got electronics. What else do we have? What do we need to get? For now, and we're gonna rush space flight. Then we can get an iron mine here. Let's go say hi to our buddies. Hey guys, what's going on? Say hello to our friends. Not totally sure I got all the artifacts. Maybe I did. Not really sure. Whoa! 1182 gold per turn. Alright. Iron mine. Very important so I can rush. Going to rush that uh, iron mine in that production city there. I think I need atomic theory at this point. Atomic theory, atomic theory. I have a feeling a lot of libraries just finished. I think we can stop building settlers. Just, just a hunch. Never give the computer a chance to do something. 
They'll take any inch you give them. Was that one city over here that finished? There we go. Question is. Can I get, can I finish this in one turn? I'm kind of doubting that. I, you know, what's nuts? I don't even have East India. Which is a shame. I don't believe I can shave this down <laughs> to one turn, so I don't think there's any sense in trying to rush it. I wish I could get a, a villager hut or something stupid like that. That would be pretty funny. Get atomic theory from a villager hut. Wouldn't be my first time, that's for sure. Oh, I'm getting a great person, though. Oh, we'll see how this goes. Oh! Oh! Oh boy. That's a scientist. Better late than never. Oh, this is definitely a new world record. There's no doubt. Uh, oh, look at that. Didn't even need that extra scientist. What do you want to research? Let's get network. <laughs> Two hundred AD. This is so ridiculous. couple little islands over here. Look at that. Quite a few nice little islands I didn't take advantage of. Look at that. Oh man, this whoa ho oh, man, this is a perfect city right here. You got oak, dye, a whale, fish. Just plant right there. Oh man. I live for tile setups like that one. Thank you. 
Let's get a fuel out of there. Fuel. Let's go over here. Some of these older cities. Habitation. Uh, does any of these cities have? Let's see. Ah, oh, what a waste. That's all right. Yeah, East India is kind of a waste over there. There's no reason to get that at this point. I don't think I can wait. I can ch change it though, so I kind of screwed that up. There was no no reason to get that. So that might delay me a turn. Definitely have no problem rushing them next turn, that's for sure. Get SETI? Why would I do that? <laughs> yeah, really. What the heck? No more settlers. Oh, 
Three hundred thousand citizens. Four buildings. Oh. Look at these cities. Look at these random citizen numbers. Two hundred years? Ugh. What a shame. My question is... Is it worth rushing another propulsion unit this turn? I'm actually not sure. Like, will it buy me two turns instead of just even canceling out? I'm not really sure. But I might as well try and find out. Do you know for sure that it won't uh, speed it up? Is it, are you sure? It's only one turn. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was a wash or if it would buy me two. Let's find out. I don't believe you. So, so if I look at this right now, it says what? 200 years? So it's 200 years, so that'd be 500. Right? Should be 500. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, it's a wash. It's worth checking, though. Go, go, go! Build SETI? What's SETI all about? Is that even it? SETI? I, I like never even. <laughs> Is that in there? See, uh, the city management actually, despite having 50 plus cities, I feel like the city management wasn't that annoying in this game. There's only a couple times I really had to go through and really babysit all the tiles and all that. I feel like that new technique I used where I just set it to library, I think that works pretty well. City. I don't know what you're talking about. City, city. Yep, 500. Yeah, so what I used to do is if I was banking hammers in a city, I would set it to uh, like a wonder a lot of the time just because it's a higher number. But what ends up happening is someone's going to finish that wonder and then you have to remanage 20 cities, which is really super annoying. So you just set it to a library or something like a wall when you're banking hammers. And then that way you don't have to get be bothered with the build menu so much unnecessarily. Oh no, um, yeah, I think I didn't want one of the DLCs. I didn't like some of the extra stuff that adds, like the extra wonders and stuff. I don't like the the free wonder the wonder pack and all that stuff.
The Mongols aren't even trying to threaten me. Which is cool. Look at that glorious capital. For culture. Look at that. That great artist. Performed all game long. He was a champ. Yeah, Statue of Liberty. Yeah. I kind of just prefer the... The original. I'm... I feel like they're not very good. I actually feel like it like makes you less powerful. A lot of those new ones are like not that good. The artifacts are not as good either. So it gives you like a less chance to get the classic artifacts. Well, that's pretty damn good, guys. I can't I can't, I'm pretty pleased with that one. What does Taj Mahal do again? I forget. I'll, I remember playing with them like years ago, but I got rid of them. I don't even remember what that one does. I should look them up. I'm just kind of curious now. So that's a uh, documented record in this game. On video. So I'll uh, record that and get that time up on speedrun.com. Uh, trying to document the best times. That's a that's a pretty good time. And you know what's scary is when I use the Americans or whoever uses the Americans, it's going to be even crazier because the Americans can expand even better than the Chinese can. So I'm thinking that Americans in a regular free-for-all game could probably take it down to pretty close to zero. Your turn 40. I'm thinking I can get it to turn 40. This is turn what? 45? 50. Let's turn 50. So I like to alternate and use a power sieve and then use a terrible sieve. So maybe I'll use someone like uh, Indians next. They're kind of mid tier. Um, who else is terrible? Mongols. I'm also looking at uh, who else is terrible in this game. I'll have to think about it. There we go. If I didn't rank top, I'd be surprised there. That'd be a little weird. <laughs> Stonehenge, Egypt. Yeah, they're pretty bad. Russians are pretty bad. I just played them, though. I played badly too. 900 AD domination victory. I mean, I could have had like a 1500 domination in this one. It was pretty nuts. Um, one thing I am cooking up, by the way, I just want to mention this. I'm looking at doing a build no units domination victory again, but this time on a completely random free for all deity map. No scenario BS or any of that. I mean, just a straight up random map, build nothing, and win a domination victory. That's probably the hardest thing I can think of. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I uh, have been attempting that when I have free time. It's very hard. It's very hard. In fact, go ahead and go and try that. Try try to get a domination victory on a total random map. Yeah, they are hard. It's pretty... Fr Dude, last night I did it. I'll tell you what I did this morning. I'm such an idiot. I've been up for like 24 hours because I was trying... So I should be... If I look tired, it's because I've been up for 24 hours. So, um... I went... I was up, I woke up at like 11... 30 p.m. yesterday. I'm such an idiot. That's all, I was like so pumped up to go play some Civ because I was like pumped up for this. 
no units random map challenge. <laughs> yeah, so um, I'm trying to do it with the English. I'll tell you that much. I'm trying to do it with the English, and I'm trying to do it with... Uh, so the map I had this morning, it was a double die whale spot. It was a five water tile capital, two trees, and a grass tile or a desert tile or something like that. So it was a pretty super amazing spot. It was a super amazing spot. Um, I managed to take out the Romans. I could not take out the rest. I tried. I lost 60 to 30 to the Roman capital. Uh, sorry, the Zulu capital. I, I couldn't take them out. I had a lightning blitz tank. I just couldn't take the capital out. 60 to 30. You know what happened? The Zulu built their capital where my boat couldn't access it. So I had a battleship, but I couldn't get to their damn capital. So I couldn't get the double, the super naval support that the English have. So, um, I mean, it would have been what 70 or what is it? Yeah, that was frustrating. But, uh, so I was thinking me, uh, you know, so basically what you do is you use Leonardo's workshop and you build, you get your Legion first and try to, you, you basically beeline for iron working. You get bronze working right away. You, and then you go straight to iron working. If you have double die, that's five turns. Okay, five turns. Very hard to get a double die. Um, so you do that. Five turns, you got to iron work. So you got a free legion running around, hopefully taking out as many free things as you can, getting huts, getting barbarian villages, wiping them out, get as much. And uh, what I'd like to do is get alphabet next, and then you have four techs. And then you rush. Yeah, maybe Germans. That could work. Uh, and then you rush uh, a library and rush a barracks. Switch it over to gold. Get your free city. And rush those two buildings and just hold on to your butt and hope that you can out-tech the other guy. Plant your second city. Try to get a choke point using, um, you want to beeline to democracy. Get that. So this is what happened to me. And if you're really super duper lucky, you get a free galley from a barbarian village. If you can do that, you've got a very good chance. So if you get a free galley, then get, the Spanish cannot be in the game, first of all. If the Spanish are in the game, forget it, because you're not getting a free galleon. So forget about that. Get the galleon. Get navigation and then get steam. And then don't worry about the battleship too much getting steel. Actually, because I didn't quite realize this. Leonardo's workshop does not upgrade cruisers to battleships. I found that in the game. So I upgraded my gallant. So I used Leonardo's workshop and then I had a, two cruisers and a battleship. And I was like, well, that sucks. So I had to use a battleship, which was still effective. But I wanted a fleet of battleships. Nevertheless, it didn't matter because Zulu was not even on the coastline. So, ideally you want to get a free galley from a barbarian village. And then get those two boats and army them up. And they have to be veterans, of course. That's why you get the barracks. You cannot afford to use them. Yeah, I think that's kind of weird. They're separate units, but whatever. I didn't realize that. Yeah, the Barb Hut Galley, if you can get that, it's looking good. Got to get that. It's, you know, a lot of random number generator involved. You got to get a nice starting spot, a really nice. You got to be kind of on a peninsula that you can choke off with a pikeman, build a fortress. Um, and if someone's so, yeah, you want to get, so you get the Legion, you get Feudalism, and that'll get you, feudalism will get you a knight, and then you get combustion for the tank, and then you can get a, a tank army. And hopefully that whole time you've been attacking and defending your cities and getting a lot of elite upgrades. And you want to get the blitz, and you want to get the infiltration at a bare minimum. If you can get march too, that's great. Um, don't need it though. 
And then, if you think you've really got wiggle room, go for, once you get combustion, go for steel and then go for automobile. And then you may be able to take your catapult, cannon, artillery, and then turn that into a uh, artillery army, which has like, what, 96 attack at least? Over 100 with a, with a, yeah, go for it, man. Try to do that, try to do that attack. Yeah, my streams are on, uh, my streams are on, uh, no, it should be 7 Mountain Time, because it's 9 o'clock Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I'm sorry, that's my old Scott. That's t uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, 9 p.m. Eastern, so that means 7 Mountain, 6 Pacific, 8 Central. Yeah, so I think... Yeah. And then if you get a fleet of cruisers in there, it's going to be really nice. With a British fleet of cruisers, yeah, it's going to be nice. You're going to be taking care of it. So that's how you do it. So I, I, that's a really fun challenge to try. I, I want to get that on video. I want to get that. That's going to be fun to try. It's super hard. I took out one. And I had, I, had an, I, I uh, rushed the uh, military... What did I rush? I rushed the Manhattan Project, and I had a nuke. I had a nuke waiting, so I could have taken out someone else. So I had, technically, I had two capitals. I could have had a second one pretty easily. Yeah, no problem, Osiris. No, no problem, man. It's my pleasure. And then I could have... Uh... So yeah, it's just that Zulu capital that screwed me. I don't even know who the fourth guy was. It was uh, Romans. I took them out. They had a million cities. It was ridiculous. I took them all out. And then... The Mongols and the Zulu. I know they were there. I can't even remember who the fourth one was. <sighs> yeah, so I don't know. You think Germans? How would they do it? How would they get a fleet of... They can't get a fleet of cruisers, though. Yeah, you can't get a fleet of cruisers with a German. You could get one cruiser or one battleship, which is okay. Yeah, it would be interesting to try that with the Germans. I think it's it's possible, but they they don't have any early way. They don't have any early way to do anything. They have no like science capability. So I don't know how you would stay ahead of the computer and in, in tech. All they have, what, they're going to rush a library and get, like, 12 science? They're going to get uh, 12 science, and then their expansion will get 12 science, so 24 tech per turn? I mean, that's not going to get you anywhere. I don't know how you would manage that, at least with a die. You could do something cool. Anyway, so that's it for tonight, guys. I'm going to go get some sleep. I need some sleep. I need. I have been not given getting enough sleep because I've just been playing way too much Civ. I just can't pull myself away. I'm not going to bed. I just love this game. Tell my wife, honey, just don't worry. I'm staying up all night. I'm playing Civ. It's the best thing. All right, guys. Thanks for joining up. I'm going to play again on Thursday. And start brainstorming. Come up with some cool ideas. Uh, tonight was an awesome, awesome game. So I had a fun, I had a good time. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Good night.